Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x to the power 7 plus x to the power 5 plus x cubed divided by x to the power 6 plus x to the power 5 plus x to the power 4 is equal to 81 divided by 27. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. From the numerator, we can factor out x cubed. x cubed as common factor and in bracket left, in bracket left from here, x to the power 4 plus from here x squared plus and from here 1 divided by from the denominator we can factor out x to the power 4 x to the power 4 as common factor and in bracket left from here left x squared plus and from here left x and from here left plus 1 is equal to 81 divided by 27 is 3. Now, if we divide this uh, numerator x cubed by x cubed, we get 1. And we divide this uh, denominator x to the power 4 by x cubed, we get x. So, here we are left with 1 times this expression x to the power 4 plus x squared plus 1 divided by this x times this expression x times x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 3. Now, we want to make this expression in the numerator of perfect square according to this uh, algebraic identity a squared plus uh, 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. So, we write this uh, x to the power 4 as we write this x to the power 4 as x squared whole squared and we write this plus 1 as we write this plus 1 as 1 squared. Now, we notice that this uh, x squared is as a and this 1 is as b. So, as a middle term, we write 2ab according to this uh, algebraic identity. So, we write here plus 2 as a, we write x squared 2 times x squared times as b we write this 1, 1. So, as a middle term we get 2x squared, 2x squared and in the original expression we have only 1x squared. It means we have added here 1x squared. So, to balance this we subtract x squared from this expression. Now, we write this denominator. In the denominator, we have this expression x times x squared plus x plus 1 and this is equal to 3. Now, by using this algebraic identity, this x squared whole squared plus 2x squared plus 1 squared will become x squared plus 1 whole squared minus this x squared divided by this expression x times x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 3. Now, in the numerator, we have difference of uh, 2 squares. So, by using this uh, algebraic identity, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. 
this expression in the numerator will become x squared plus 1 plus x times x squared plus 1 minus x divided by x times x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 3. Now, this uh, x squared plus x plus 1 will be cancelled out with this uh, x squared plus 1 plus x. And in the numerator, we are left with this expression x squared minus x plus 1 divided by this x is equal to 3. Now, from here we multiply both sides of this equation by x. At right hand side we multiply by x. So, this x will be cancelled out with this x and uh, at left side we are left with x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 3 times x 3x. Now, we move uh, this 3x to the left hand side then this equation will become x squared minus this x, this uh, plus 3 x will become negative 3 x at left hand side plus 1 is equal to 0. Next, x squared minus 1 x minus 3 x will become negative 4 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable. So, we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation, a is equal to 1 and b is equal to negative 4 and c is equal to 1. And according to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative value of b is negative 4 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared, we write a negative 4 squared minus 4 times in place of a, we write 1 times in place of c, we write 1 divided by 2 times value of a 1. Next, x is equal to this negative and this negative will become positive 4 plus or minus square root of this negative 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 1 is 4 divided by 2 times 1 2. Next x is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of this 16 minus 4 is 12 divided by 2. Next, x is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of this 12 can be written as 4 times 3 divided by 2 and x is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 3 divided by 2. Next, x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2. 2 as common factor and in bracket left 2 plus or minus square root of 3 divided by 2. Now, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get 2 values of x. x1 is equal to 2 plus square root of 3 and x2 is equal to 2 minus square root of 3. So, these are the two solutions of this equation. That is all for now. Keep watching and thank you so much for your kind support.